Sorry. Yep. Now, my question is regarding the Ondof area. Obviously, the fighting is very close there, and sometimes it is getting across the Alpha line. Uh, there were, in your report, uh, you mentioned some problems with regard to armed men uh, fighting inside the, the buffer zone. And also, they, they go and get uh, support and come back after uh, hospitalization in Israel. How, how is that, how this situation is uh, threatening the UNDOF uh, personnel? It is true that UNDOF, which was probably one of the quietest peacekeeping missions for 37 years, uh, ever since uh, the crisis unfolded in uh, the Syrian Arab Republic, has been in, in a very different situation and one of increased risk because, as you say, there are combats uh, inside the area of separation, uh, inside the areas of limitation. Uh, there are now uh, improvised explosive devices. So yes, our peacekeepers have been subject over the last year and a half to attacks, to hijacks, to thefts, to kidnappings even on two occurrences. So we have had to, in effect, make UNDOF into a very different operation from what it was initially. The mandate hasn't changed, but the way they deliver on the mandate has been adapted. The equipment has been upgraded very substantially. And uh, of course, we have to be ready at any time to uh, take measures against uh, bombardments, against explosions, against fighting. Uh, yes, it goes a bit all over the place, and it is of great concern to us, but I think those people who are working there, you know, are doing as best they can and doing a pretty good job. Oh, what, what do they need more, I mean, in order to secure their safety and do their job? Are there any ideas that they might need, either technologies or uh, support from the Security Council, change of mandate, or anything support, like that? Support of the Security Council is total, I'm happy to say. Uh, the mandate, I don't think one should expect it could be changed because that's a legacy of history, isn't it? But of course, uh, getting them many more armored cars, uh, getting them more medical facilities in case something bad happens, and of course, uh, counter IED uh, capacities, you know, because that's a very real threat on a daily basis. So all this is being looked at in real time very closely.